TV lesson. I'm Brittany Fiola, and today we're going to learn about headshots. Brittany is looking for a headshot uh, to be an actress, so what we're doing is we're taking a lot of very commercial shots, which means her smiling, looking happy in general, get some highlights in her eyes, because that's what casting directors really pick up on, if there's like a sparkle in the eyes. So that's what we're doing today. outfits to depict like different roles that I could possibly take. It's mostly about your face, not as you don't want to cloud it with jewelry or really anything too bright. It takes away from you. Like lounge back, like waiting for a bus or something like that. Okay. A bit more on that shoulder so your body's a little bit turned more away from me. That's it, you did that perfectly. Alright, a couple more like that. So let's have a serious expression. Are you sure you haven't done this before? <laughs> you even lie to me now. Okay, and you're doing the same thing, just smooth your hair down again at the back. That's lovely, perfect, all right. Looking good down there. Fantastic, that's the one. Well done. All right, <laughs> next shot. Always be prepared. You should bring a minimum of three changes of clothing and stay away from anything bright coloured because that will really pin you into a particular group and you want to be neutral, you don't want to scare them away with your clothing choice. I call them, I wanted to call them Fluffy or Foo Foo or something, but no. But I call Sabre Tooth Baba. <laughs> Sweet! I like shooting outdoors. Uh, number one, you don't have to carry a whole ton of lights to set up. Uh, number two, the light is actually a lot better for the skin tone. So what that means is it's going to be perfectly lit. The sunlight is actually more flattering to the skin than a uh, tungsten light. My photo shoot was a lot of fun, actually. Um, it was really fast-paced. It actually flew by so quick. I'm going to go look at them now and see how they turned out. I'm really excited. I've taken maybe 200 photographs today. Um, out of all those, there'll probably be 10 really good shots. And I know you just need one shot for your uh, acting showreel. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at them in the studio, uh, pick out the best 10, and then we're going to Photoshop them and put them on a disc. OK, OK, sounds good. And what we've done, we've done a whole lot of different shots here, all different angles, a lot from the front, a lot from the side. Mm. So we're going to go through those. If there's a particular picture that you like, uh, we can crop in, so we can go in like this, or we can go in like that, as close as you like. To be a photographer these days is actually very exciting. Even 20 years ago, we were limited to 24 photos, 36 pictures on a frame, on a uh, reel of film rather, and these days we can shoot 4,000 pictures in a day, and we don't have to process them. No processing costs, no developing costs, no printing costs, it's all right here. You see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. If, if we just took one shot, that would be a <laughs> terribly shot. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. She's <laughs> <laughs> just sleeping on the job. <laughs> when you're looking at a picture as a photographer, another wonderful thing we have is Photoshop. Now, this here, as long as it's dark, that means there's some information in there. We can pull that out using Photoshop. We can balance this picture so it's completely evenly lit on both sides. What that will do is it will just bring out the contrast in the background and the light in her eyes. Look for the pictures where you can see the reflection of the light in the eyes. Now that little sparkle there is from the flash. See, so what that does is it just gives a little bit of sparkle to the eyes, gives a little bit of personality to the picture. Okay, look in the eyes. Eyes are looking good, lovely. Um, doesn't need any retouching there, I don't think. Retouching means just basically balancing out skin tone, so if she's like got any dark circles under the eyes. We're going to fix those up, colour balance them, make them look sparklingly wonderful, and we're going to give them to the, the lovely lady here. We just finished our headshots and I'm going to go choose one and start sending them to the casting directors. If you're just starting out like me um, as an actor, actress, you should probably do the same. Join us next time on TV Lesson.